We have a toy frog here on nice level ground. It's going to jump at a 40 degree angle relative to the ground. And when it jumps and lands back on this level ground, it will have traveled 0 0.80 meters. What we want to know is what's its initial speed when it launches off. So we have here a nice graph of y versus x. And a very nice excuse to have the frog's initial position just as the origin. But we were told about the launch angle, and that's not part of this graph. We need to have a different graph where we look at vy versus vx. And if we look at this, and we have our initial velocity vi, which we're trying to solve for, we don't actually have vi in any of our equations, so we need to decompose it into vix and viy. So with this, we can take a look, and we can see this 40 degree angle here. So our viy is going to be equal to vi sine of 40 degrees, and our vix is going to be equal to vi cosine of 40 degrees. Now that we have that, we can do our six graphs. But we don't have too much new information from that, and these graphs really have a lot. So let's go into our knowns and unknowns. So in our knowns and unknowns, we actually know, right, that the frog's initial position and final position in the y are the same. And we might as well have them be 0 to make our lives a little bit easier. So we can say SYI is 0 meters, SYF, 0 meters. Our initial position, the x, xi is 0 meters. And our final position, the x, is 80 centimeters, or 0 0.8 meters. We know the acceleration in the y direction is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And we also know that the acceleration in the x direction is going to be 0 meters per second squared. We don't know our initial velocity, vi, and whether we want to put it in knowns or unknowns, we can choose. But our vxi, we can write in terms of vi. It's going to be vi cosine of 40 degrees, as we've shown over here. And our vyi, vi sine of 40 degrees, as we've shown here. And then we don't have time in our knowns. We don't have time in our unknowns. So we're going to want to put time in our unknowns. So we're really solving for vi, but we also need to write solve for time. We don't have anything involving final velocity, and we have a lot involving positions. So looking at our equations here, equations 2x and 2y are going to have a lot of interesting stuff for us. So looking in the x direction, we have SFX, which we can write as 0 0.8 meters, equals SIX. For space, I'm not going to write any zeros. VIX is VI cosine of 40 degrees times time. And then again, 1 half AX T squared is also 0. In my Y direction, I have SFY, which is 0. Got to write it once on one side. SIY is 0, but I'm not going to write that. VIY, which is VI sine of 40 degrees times time, plus 1 half times negative 9.8 meters per second squared. That's time squared. OK, so now I have two equations. And now I'm down to just two unknowns. I don't know VI. I don't know T. I don't know T. I don't know t, I don't know vi, but it's just vi and t. And so I can solve for one and substitute into the other. This equation looks very right for substitution because it's just got right two equations. And we've got just this t once right here. So we can t being equal to 0 0.8 meters over vi cosine of 40 degrees. So that's great. That's looking good here. Over on this side, we can divide by t 
because t equals zero is a valid solution in the y direction, but it's not a valid solution in the x direction. So if we do that, we get zero equals ei sine of 40 degrees minus 4.9 meters per second squared t, or we can say, right, 4.9 meters per second squared t is equal to vi sine of 40 degrees. So again, we still have two unknowns, but we actually know t from up here, so we can sub it in. So when we do that, we have 4.9 meters per second squared times 0 0.8 meters over vi cosine of 40 degrees equals vi sine of 40 degrees. So what we can do is we can get all of these vi's to one end and everything that's not vi to the other end, right? We're essentially multiplying by vi and then we're dividing by sine of 40 degrees. If we do that, we're going to get vi squared vi vi and then it's going to be all of these other things here. So we have 4.9 meters per second squared times 0 0.8 meters and then we're dividing by cosine of 40 degrees times sine of 40 degrees. So if you feel like you need the math, go ahead and pause and calculate. Otherwise, we're just going to go through it. So this will give us 7.96 meters squared per second squared. And then taking the square root of this, we have vi is equal to 2.82 meters per second. So this is an interesting problem because we don't have any one equation, one unknowns. We have to symbolically solve for t in terms of vi and then substitute it in. But other than that, right, the big things are to have our sketches and to make sure that our y versus x sketch and our vy versus vx sketch are separate sketches so we can get all the information we need for each of them. And then just use our equations, use our knowns and unknowns, and do that one substitution. Thanks.